So back to Mr. Jesse, I have a question for you. Uh, we all know that other Leo ones that have launched uh, don't always achieve the required adoption to thrive. So will there be substantial adoption for pool chains and how can you be reassured by this? As Katie said, there's approximately 300,000 people in the Hex community that are already waiting and anxious to use the chain. And that number actually go, is going up, right? So for the past year and a half or so, as we've been telling people about this chain, there's more people that are ready to start using it on day one. So what's different about Pulse Chain compared to, let's give us some examples of like Phantom Chain or Avalanche Chain or Matic or something like that. Those chains, when they launched, they didn't have anything on it. The only way to get tokens onto those chains was you had to bridge. And then somebody had to create liquidity pools with the bridged wrapped tokens. And now you have an issue of, okay, the security in the bridge and then thin liquidity of the wrapped token. It doesn't have the same liquidity as what it did on ETH. But that's how most of the tokens on those side chains end up on those chains. They're just simply bridged in. And if wants to natively launch a protocol for the past five years or so, most development teams have said, we'll natively launch on ETH if we want our thing on one of these side chains, Phantom, Avalanche, Matic, something like that, we'll just bridge it over there. That usually doesn't go very well. Bridges get hacked or yeah. funds drained. You have liquidity issues. And in times of low gas on ETH, people just aren't interested and using those side chains. And Pulse Chain will have all of the tokens, all 10,000 or so tokens that people hold in their wallets and liquidity pools and everywhere else that you see on ETH. It's already going to have those on Pulse Chain, rebalanced to correct for the supply difference, and a large community of people ready to use the chain on day one and a whole bunch of developers who have already built tools and services such as stable coins, lending platforms, you, there's some meme coins, there's all sorts of stuff that will be natively launching really early on when Pulse Chain goes live. So it really is a unique situation you haven't seen in any other chain yet. 